Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We still have some more challenges to do, so why don't we start with Pong? Okay, looks like sort of a normal run with Eden. Very very high uh, damage, very high, is that, I think, range? Or shot speed? I don't know. Okay! I see now. <laughs> oh, it definitely takes shoot the move because that actually like with this kind of damage because it does scale with the damage now. Uh, is a real like boss killer, I would imagine. Oh, okay, I see now. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> I mean, sometimes it ricochets really well. What the? What's that pill? I'm excited. Hmm. Maybe uh, the equivalent opposite pill to I'm drowsy? Ragman. Yeah, that just kills everything. <laughs> uh, no... Chal no uh, treasure rooms on this challenge, so I think we want to move on. Because this damage, if I can go through it fast, is gonna, you know, carry me throughout the whole game, probably. But I do think, yeah, we have to uh, go to the negative, I believe. So they do give you some challenge here. Let's just do this. And not just because of the damage, but Shoot the Wu is also, like, really cool here because... It gives us an alternative to that tier, because it, as you can see, it's kind of erratic. Okay. Gather them all together like this. Okay. Uh, maybe later. Might want to use this. Oh, there's one more alive. Uh Okay, whoa, whoa. what the fuck? Okay, that was a little bit close. Alright. Can I... yeah, that was the flame. Thank you very much. And it's the haunt with another Tinted Rock. Might as well. Ouch. And then this should, well, almost killed him. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. We get two more HP ups from the boss door. Uh, yeah. We want to take both of those. Nice! Succubus is awesome. For free, even. And, uh, yeah. So we get this, we get this, and uh, we move on. So now we can actually hide if our tier gets stuck somewhere. Because I do think, like, the architecture of, of any given room is gonna make or break this run. Depending on if you, uh... I'm excited. We gotta see what that is. Uh, Joker might be good, but uh, need more keys for this one. Whoa! There? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, this strikes me like a very easy challenge. And I appreciate that too. <laughs> nice. The center is great. We go up here and uh, yeah, maybe we'll have a look in here. Mm hmm. I think I want that jar of flies. Jar of flies seems awesome to me in this one. Way better than um, 
than Shuktu, even though Shuktu was actually pretty good here. And Pong it all up. <laughs> I don't know why it's called Pong. I was expecting like something that uh, I have to compete with somebody on the other side, like maybe have there be one of these um, nemesis type characters be on the run that maybe can't be beaten. But you have to kind of ricochet his tears to somewhere or whatever. Um, that would be more in keeping with the theme, I'd say. But that's fine too, I guess. So... I guess I might as well use it here because I'm not gonna take it with me. Oh wow, holy shit. Uh, okay, yeah, well, now we can definitely afford that, uh, that, um, jar of flies. Uh, wait, what? Oh, the challenge room was in there. Why did I think that it was over the, on the other side? No matter. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is... Overpowered as all hell. <laughs> I don't really know why anybody would, you know, consider this a challenge, but uh, it's fun anyway. So, moving along. We're making very good time, indeed. And the catacombs already. Um, originally thought I thought I may not want to go to the cursed rooms, but now that I have a copy item already. Oh shit! I talked about buying the jar, and I never even got back to the shop. Uh, my brain. It's very late again. If you remember my other runs. In Afterbirth and in Rebirth, I tend to play um, these games very late at night. Emperor, huh? Okay, yeah. Let's do it like this. First of all, I need one more charge. Like this. We go in here. We have this type of uh, first room again. That was close. And then we teleport to the boss. So Red should, should basically stand no chance whatsoever. Another HP. This run almost beats it itself right now. There's a Zerchoko card again. I do want to go to the shop and actually buy something with my 63 cents here. The thing is with this with the, this Pong here, even though you've been outside of the room for a while, I think it kind of pretends like you're still in that room and that's why it doesn't let you fire right away until you know the tier has officially or at least until the time has, has officially passed where the tier would be uh, expended yeah like shoop de whoop and um and succubus are the Basically, the uh, ideal help us on this run. I'll definitely take those options. Uh, one more key, maybe. One more spirit heart. We have the money, so... Let's get back to the uh, to our uh, boss fight and move along. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Went the wrong way, but it actually turned out great. 
So, um... <laughs> How have your holidays been? I hope it, it was fine. I, um... Myself was actually in France, um... Visiting a friend of the channel. You guys, if you've been, uh, on here for long enough, you might know him. It's Mar. He shows up here once in a while. And we actually uh, recorded some stuff together. And you'll you'll probably get to see that in the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be nice, I think. Come on. Like, breaking the poop is actually the hardest part. <laughs> Yeah, piercing shop takes care of that. Uh, still don't know what this does, so I'm gonna take it again. Tarot cloth, stars card. We don't have a stars uh, item room, <clears throat> so instead, I think I'll just go. And then we do this, <laughs> if the game lets us. And here's the boss already. It's Loki. And we definitely want Magic Mushroom. And here we want... Not this. But... Sure. At least we got Krampus out of the way. <sighs> yeah, Paris and New Year's is... Well, it's Paris, but it didn't really get uh, get cold until I arrived, apparently. And then when I left, it got a little bit warmer, <laughs> apparently. It's, I don't know. Uh, crazy coincidences. Uh, let's have a look. We have so much HP. And here's the second copy item. And I think we want to stay with that, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, just the way that I can use Shoop the Whoop to clear like a whole row of enemies might make it better. Because with Guppy's head I can't really choose my um, opponents. It's just going to be the one that's closest. But good to have the second copy item, nonetheless. This tier, man, this is so ridiculous. Ouch. That was the first bit of damage since... The basement? I don't know, maybe since ever. On this run, what is this? Potato peeler. Pound of flesh. <coughs> um, it doesn't have a charge. We got a cube of meat now. And we have the amine anemic effect. Okay. What if I do it again? Oh, second level. Oh, okay. I think it took our red hearts. We used to have five, now it's three. Um, although, I actually do want one more. Because <laughs> Meat Boy like this is not going to be very helpful. But I should take it down again. Like, that's enough. Okay. Time to fight Mom. And that was Mom, everybody. <laughs> You should definitely take that spirit, uh, tri uh, no spirit hearts in there, but, um, the tinted rock, uh, I'll take the shot speed, I guess, and move out. Joker. Not good enough to take. What's next here? That potato peeler is interesting. Uh, 
I guess it makes it even easier to get a full level queue of meat. And it should count, right? Um, I wonder if it also works with ball of bandages. Like, maybe it's uh, random which one you get. That would be awesome, actually. Because that achievement used to be so hard. It's not even funny. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I can't help to think that I'm probably very, very uh, lucky on this run, like getting, um, getting succubus is really, and also should do obviously. That's really uh, exactly what I needed. So, thank you, game. Last assist. And that's all there is for that. Uh, um, I don't really think we need the the Dark Judas here. We'll take, just take the HP. We we're basically almost where we left off, right? Yeah, four HP. We had five before we used Potato Peeler. out of here oh, oops sorry about that what well, was my head way too preoccupied obviously yeah chew him up chew him up meat boy or I guess succubus it's all fine and dandy Should take more care about this sort of thing. Okay. I was sort of thinking it might go straight, but no can do. Honestly, I'm kind of a... Well, done. And we got Guppy as well. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, use it once. <clears throat> this is fucking... Amazing. Basically, I don't think the game needs me anymore. I could just just go from room to room not doing anything, right? Yeah. Like, here. The only winning move is not to play. But that would be, that would be uh, boring, right? I propose, in you know, in the spirit of the challenge, maybe you wanna like ban certain items from this challenge so that it makes sense. All right, <laughs> we go up, up, up to the cathedral. I thought it was the negative, but apparently it's the Polaroid. <clears throat> Which makes sense since we picked up the Polaroid. Of course, for this room, I don't have a um, troop to move charge. Oh, come on. <laughs> a spider took care of him. Nice. This is definitely going to be the fastest run we've uh, recorded for this new expansion. Like, um, I guess Succubus must scale with the damage, because otherwise I, w I wouldn't be able to explain this uh, high amount of uh, just destruction we're laying on this this poor run here. Yeah, why not? Oh, nice. Uh, and uh, the Pandora's box should actually give us an angel item, which is your trash uh, but yeah it was worth a shot 
Oh, that was uh, accidental. I'm sorry. Oops. Shot a little bit too early. Come on. I'm still thinking about this uh, thing, like what I was thinking of this challenge maybe that, that might, might happen is uh, having this doppelganger follow you around throughout the whole run. There's something to be maybe made out of that. Maybe you can make a mod that, um, that uh, that's called like the real Pong challenge or something. But I guess it would require a lot more uh, programming than just this. Yeah, we can't lose this one. It's out of the question. We'll take these. I guess we might as well take Betrayal as well, even though I really don't like it actually. It's all these items that... Even if they're useful... Just the animation that uh, it plays whenever you... Uh, Whenever something something happens, is enough for you to okay 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 thank you. I'm not really that interested. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, still, still a little bit down with the sickness here. <coughs> but you know, getting slightly better. I guess we just have to stand inside of the aura here and everybody who comes close just gets toasted. My, my, my. Dang man, sure. Very useful. Where's the boss though? This way? Nope. Sure. Get creep shots in this bitch. I don't actually see the um the zit. It's covered up by the bandage, which honestly how is that gonna work? Wait a second. Okay. Would actually be Worse if um, worse if we were still on normal rooms where there could be uh, any sort of obstacle in our way. Actually, tech tech two would actually be pretty good here, but I'll stay like this. It's fine. No need to uh, hamper our damage at all. You guys are so fucked. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a 20 minute chest run. I hope you guys liked it. Got hit there in the end, but you know. That's our champion. Greed's Gullet has appeared in the basement. Alright. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time with a normal run. Bye bye.